The dirtiest job in America, Ryan dirty. Trahan's new video. Dirty. Like fish and poop and fish poop. It's a good point, Ryan. I want to clean fish poop. Why? <laughs> when I was 11, I wanted to be like Mike. Not that Mike, that Mike. On his show, Dirty Jobs. Mike, Mike is, is cool. cool. Now I'm 24, Mike is claustrophobic, cool. and never tried to be like Mike. Ryan, Ryan is, is not cool. cool. Let's change that. Our journey begins here, at one of the world's largest aquariums, at 5 p.m. Oh no, 5, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Good morning, sleepyheads. <laughs> Haven't said that in a while. Well, I've successfully traveled all the way to Connecticut. Behind me is one of the world's largest aquariums. I'm afraid of many things in life. Dirt is not one of them. Wow. I know. What? Tough. Wow. Scary. So tough. I am. I'm scared of swimming, enclosed spaces, and that rock bottom episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Today, I feel like I'm gonna have to conquer all three. I don't know why. I started walking inside, and yes, that's scuba gear. I've spent the past month, dozens of hours, and many dives getting scuba certified. My job today at the aquarium includes five tasks with varying levels of dirtiness. Good thing I'm not afraid of animals' fecal matter, or germs, or urine. My middle name is urine. <laughs> no, it's not, it's Michael. But today's gonna get pretty gnarly, and I'm gonna have to no face way. some fears, and hopefully make some new friends along the way, huh? This Aww. is for you, Mike. First things first, the beluga whale habitat. I actually came here and did a tour yesterday, met Juno. Juno's my best friend. In Was the Ryan Hand in his pocket or his pants there? Attack. I actually came here and did Is Ryan touching himself in his own video? <laughs> Come on, Ryan. How's this video not age restricted yet, YouTube? Come on. The tour yesterday, met Juno. Juno's my best friend in the entire whole Ooh. wide world. He puts his head on, on the glass. He's cute. Sounds like my first task is actually window cleaning. Seems like that's been a common theme in my life recently. I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm gonna do a great job. Let's hit it. That lighthouse video he did was great. Hey, I'm Ryan. Hi, I'm Kyle. This is Kyle. He loves aquatic animals. He loves beluga whales. And he knows... What the fuck is that, Kyle? There are a few what beluga the... whales in this habitat, but Juno is the real star. This aquarium is a nonprofit and helps rescue aquatic animals in danger. So this beluga whale habitat is very important. Okay, looks like we have three windows to clean. Let's get it. Real nice, and nice. This is not sped up. Kyle is that fast. I think it's pretty obvious. This is not that bad. Kyle was proud. So he let me do the next one on my own. It was so cute to watch these belugas swim by. I didn't really know what a beluga whale was. I'm from Texas. So here's a few fun facts about Juno. Beluga whales generally live in the Arctic. They can swim backwards, and they're the closest thing we have to actual Pokemon. <laughs> Am I right? With that being said, task complete. Hey! Right, that was wow. so dirty. Good job, Ryan. What was blurred Next up, out there? we're feeding seals. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm here with... Allison. So you are actually going to be meeting one of my all-time favorite animals here at the aquarium. She is a spotted seal named Nuna. Nuna! So she was actually found on a beach looking dehydrated and malnourished by a couple Aww. of beachgoers. So we stepped up and said... Okay, it probably wasn't actually Mark Rober and Mr. Beast, but imagine... Found on a beach looking dehydrated and malnourished by a couple of beachgoers. Oh my God, it's Mark Rover. So we stepped up and said we'd love to have her. They brought her in, they did an evaluation, and she was deemed non-releasable by the government because she was so dehydrated and malnourished. Damn. After that, they needed a permanent home for her, and she made her way back down in 2019. Oh my gosh. You're insane on camera, by the way. <laughs> Dude, I was like, that was one take. You guys don't understand how long it takes for me to say like, yo guys, we love you, Nuna. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. Okay. But first, preparing Nuna's lunch. I'll have you prep this one. Nuna! <laughs> let's go! About to feed Nuna. So this <laughs> so. First, Allison taught me that we have to defrost and clean Nuna's food, which is fish. It's restaurant-grade fish. Only Damn. the best for yeah. Nuna! I'm gonna blur the fish to spare you. It's, I mean, you can literally imagine. It's what seals eat, all in one bucket. Damn. My task is to sort out any fish that don't look absolutely impeccable. I wonder if he did that for YouTube Age Restricted. Like, I wonder if he wow. uploaded it at first. Restaurant-grade quality, so they Bro. eat a lot better than we do. <laughs> I did some food quality control for new yeah. and it had me thinking about mike rope i watched his show all the time and always thought i could be tough enough to do something like that you know Is what actually Now's Ryan the time. i put nuna's yummy lunch aside Beautiful. went back in and sorted some more fish for the other seals and had a good little chat with allison i was so inspired by how passionate allison is about her seals and how much she cares for them an entire squad pulled up when we were ready to feed nuna okay. <laughs> each seal gets a person to feed them that's adorable okay so apparently nuna's gonna see this letter n and come up to us. Nuna! <laughs> Hi! Nuna! That's really cool. That's how they Yummy. like summon them. Oh, that's a nice belly rub. That's nice. <laughs> Nuna! Nuna alert! Although Nuna can't be released, other seals that are rescued here can. That's and after so meeting good. Nuna, videos like this one of a release are so emotional. Oh my. 
I feel like it's so interesting. You like see animals in like picture books. You know what I mean? Like, you know that a seal exists, but I feel like it'd be so cool to see one in person. I've never seen a seal in person. Just how diverse nature can be, man. You know, like that looks so different from us, but like you can see it's like got the grippers, you know, it's like cute looking. It's got whiskers. I wonder if it's like, if it's like super like smooth, like slippery smooth, or if it's They're got like a little texture to it. And after meeting Nuna, videos like this one of her release are so emotional. Oh my goodness. Okay, the amount of people and effort it takes to take care of these seals, adorable. I can't believe how smart they are. I thought Spock was smart. He doesn't even know sit yet. He's seven. <clears throat> Next up, we're Damn, feeding piranhas. Spock catching strays. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Sorry. Piranhas. Razor sharp teeth. Ferocious Damn. appetites. 72 pounds of force per bite. You put anything into this tank, Holy it's going to get obliterated in moments. This is Darian. Hi, Hi, Darian. The Piranha Princess. That's her legal title. You have to call her that. This is the scariest thing I have Ryan, aren't you married? What ever you done. Here you go. They didn't even eat it. <laughs> They're like so chill. I threw one more in and one of them booped a piece. That was pretty much all the action I got from the piranhas. So <laughs> Darian told me that piranhas being ferocious is actually a myth and they're really scaredy cats. You learn something new every day. Task complete. I don't know if I believe the piranha princess there. All right, I've got like 15 minutes until my next task. You think what I'm thinking? <laughs> I have $6. Can you hold this real quick? That was insane. This is Bailey and this is Sharon, my dive buddies, preparing me for my greatest fear, swimming in closed spaces and rock bottom. With a scuba certification, at least the one I got, you have to dive with a buddy. It's many things, but it's a safety precaution above all else for me today. I dived one time for a video going to the world's oldest underwater hotel. It was only like 10 feet deep and it was terrifying. It took me like 30 minutes to get down there and I was panicking the entire way. And now I'm gonna be diving with African penguins That's who another great video. eight to 10 times an hour. Scuba dude. Eight to ten times an hour? No more running from it. I stood around like an absolute amateur. Sharon looked a little concerned, but I'm in good hands. And then I Damn. hopped into the habitat. Ryan looking African like penguin fun facts. They can't jacked. fly. They poop every 20 minutes. They typically have a mate for life. That's adorable. And they're always wearing their best tuxedos. <laughs> it looks like they're wearing suits. I don't know. It's not actually a suit. And frankly, this is the dirtiest task of them all. I thought it said dirtiest talk. Clearly, I'm ready for this. <laughs> I've been training for this. The African penguin habitat. We're going to be doing some cleaning. These bad boys... I can barely talk. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. I'm following Bailey's lead. This is my first time diving since training, and I'm scared. I'll be honest. Not sure if you can see the panic in my eyes, but it's there. Even though I was panicking, I gave Bailey the okay. Yeah, that little signal right there makes me feel cool and professional underwater. So then I did it again. I started the cleaning the windows, which was super fun. I'm actually feeling okay in this moment until I started absolutely panicking because my weight belt started sliding off. I felt like I was in a movie where you have to escape handcuffs underwater, except all I had to do was successfully pull a strap that was extremely easy to access. Regardless, I fixed it and then cleaned penguin poo off the windows. I never thought in my life I would see a penguin this close up. He's oh, with penguins. They are. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh my goodness. I'm an absolute menace with that scrubber. I cleaned the windows several times over and gave Bailey the okay. <laughs> Someone needs to stop me from doing that again. I successfully cleaned some other windows, gave Dude, Bailey really a high five, so and sick. next was the real fun. I did this up top already, by the way, which was pretty oh straightforward. Some spraying, some scrubbing, some cute nibbles from the penguin named Boris. I am in love with these animals. This is my buddy right here. You a penguin? so cute. You're the cutest. But back to the real drama. Bailey explained this tool, the Poo Scrubber 5000. I don't know, made that up. That being said, we took another dive down. Although this might be the dirtiest task, it's also the most visually satisfying. There's absolute fecal matter flying everywhere. Oh, Something they damn. don't tell you in scuba school is that it's actually really hard to maneuver underwater, especially without fins. I don't have fins on right now. So not getting manhandled by this scrubber is actually a challenge. <laughs> I continued scrubbing every surface that's I could find, suits. and thank goodness like, all so of this satisfying. poop gets filtered out at the end. Yeah, no, that's poo. Yeah, that's kind of oh that's my cute. God. I got every nook and cranny of that habitat, and then I emerged with Bailey. That was awesome. Call me the scrub daddy. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Ah. Ah. 
Hey, ocean dwellers. It's kind of cold out here. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting ready to go into another dive. They're calling this one T7. I don't want to know what either of those stand for. First dive was cute. Penguins are adorable. There weren't any threats whatsoever other than Boris. get harder than that? Boris is a menace. I love him. But the next habitat has some serious drama. Queenie, the alpha. She actually has teeth. Poncho, the moray eel. Ah! Mildly terrifying. And then a lionfish as well. That's scary. I've got on a new suit, so let's hit it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this time I'm diving with Sharon. That Sharon, an absolute dive expert and lover of aquatic animals. I gave Sharon the classic okay. She reciprocated, which made me feel valid. So thank you, Sharon. And now on my second and final dive, I gotta say, I'm not scared in here. It's actually quite beautiful. <laughs> wow. Goodness, Queenie. Okay, her teeth are kind of cute. F it. Clean to rock. <laughs> I don't know. Poncho has not moved this entire time, by the way. Spending the day here at the aquarium has been a blessing. I have fallen in love with so many of these animals, and everyone that works here is incredibly passionate about marine life. As I was cleaning this last habitat, I was just thinking, 11-year-old me would be proud. And that feels good. Nice that way to rock tie it bottom back in. episode of SpongeBob is playing behind me, isn't it? I'm not scared of you anymore. I don't know what I'm doing for the outro. I think this is it. I think this is. Watch another video. <laughs> I don't... No, seriously. I hope you have a good day. Another great video from Ryan. Mr. B. Another great video from Ryan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another great video from Scrub Daddy. Oh no! This is the wrong, wrong video. <laughs> in May of dirty. I commented that on the wrong video. I was like, no way, Mr. Beast already commented. <laughs> Another great video from Scrub Daddy. Great. W comment.